Well here's a quick sugar cube model to help you should limestone pavements come up. So limestone as you know is formed under the sea uh, from calcium from dead sea creatures as they build up in layers on the seabed. Uh, the stuff we're studying is carboniferous limestone so that's about 350 million years ago and as the limestone built up um, it built up during a period of sedimentation and then there was a break and then another period of sedimentation and a break. Each of the breaks are marked by these horizontal lines running across and they're called bedding planes, these horizontal layers. Uh, then as the limestone continued to form, it dried out. As it dried out, it, uh, it, these vertical cracks appeared and they're called joints. Uh, these were accentuated and added to whenever the limestone would have been warped and lifted from the seabed due to tectonic forces and uh, so on. So as the limestone was warped, these, these vertical cracks opened up and they're called uh, joints. Then I'm going to jump ahead in time to just say 20,000 years ago and an ice sheet or a glacier would have come across and removed a layer of limestone along perhaps a bedding plane as a line of least resistance. So I'll just do that now, I'll just take it off, take it off, pop it back on and uh, you can see what would have been left behind is a relatively flat surface. Uh, with uh, the intersection of the joints on top forming almost like a, an early pavement. Uh, then as you know rain is uh, dilute carbonic acid and it dissolves the calcium in the limestone uh, through the process of carbonation. So as time goes on these layers, these lines of weakness, these joints get attacked and opened out and you end up with something a bit more like that uh, where the, the joints have widened out into these features that as you know are called grikes. And then between them, you've got uh, these big blocky bits called clints. And uh, the clints themselves initially might have been kind of flat, but over time they too have been attacked on top by uh, the, the ongoing carbonation. And you've got things like solution pits, solution hollows, runnels, carin, and so on. So they, they become uneven themselves. Down in the grikes, you've got shade-loving plants. But the tops of the clints tend to remain uh, relatively accessible and clear uh, due to the action of grazing sheep by people like ourselves going to visit, the exposure to the wind and so on. So if, uh, if a limestone pavement question comes up, tackle it, something like that, go back to how it formed, mention the bedding planes and the joints, then obviously mention the ice coming across and uh, leaving you with uh, an initial pavement pattern, and then talk about the action of carbonation widening out the grikes and uh, what's left in between are clints and that's your limestone pavement.